and welcome back to a date with death, ladies and gentlemen. This one's point of man, Bob and I'm Dr. Bob Kerr. Jim here, or this is actual name of family, is Casper, and I just confessed his feelings to Greg here. And, uh, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect any of this, really. Should be, uh, most interesting to see what. I was almost trying to see if anything had to damn it now. Nothing seems to happen when I click on these. Huh. Wow, you really said all that and then left? I know, right? Come back. You don't need to be so shy. Sounds like something a sad person would say. Yeah, yeah. You'll find I am actually quite full. A sad person wouldn't be so straightforward about those subjects. Yeah, what, what cares, man? Does he desire me? That. They <laughs> don't know. That should be obvious. Well, you do need a cold chat. Let's see. He's... I just, I'm good. I'll right now, that's all. <laughs> wow. I can just smash it just right in the face. You're looking for me. What's wrong? By the way, since it's on the top of the roof, did you ever cut your hair? You don't like my hair? Yeah, I'm actually kind of upset we didn't know. No, it's just, it's kind of creepy. What is this here? Open big prison. Dreambound, huh? Dreambound. This is of, oh, jeez. Ha. Nah. So it's about a lot of morbid kinds of things. I was just curious, it's very boring. What's the name of my touch girl? I don't There's no need for me to cut today. I'd also want to say that she has me a few jobs and job fits at this one point in Jeremy's room where the dear cat is um, my first called the star character and I found it fit so I use that in my playthroughs as well. Uh, in Jeremy's room, if she's conversing, when she's conversing with uh, Jeremy's pro friend, Francis Arzone. Is this cool? No, I'm so strong. <laughs> There's no many fruits you've got to take with him. You didn't really see it here. Thanks. Your hairstyle also suits you. You'll just keep your eye on that. But you just said my head is not cruel like immortals. I've simply always been this way. <laughs> Someone attacked you with scissors and then grow back? Do you plan to attack me with scissors? <laughs> I gotta know what this is. <laughs> oh, man, what you think, man? Anyone. If you did, I would simply have to pluck each hair from your head out one by one. Damn. <laughs> no need for terrifying. Yeah, right? It's terrifying. How do you feel that hair die? No. I <laughs> yeah, know, right? You feel no that hair die? My hair is beautiful and pristine, I was to keep it that way. Born with hair that long? What? I 
can mess with baby with hair like yours. You misunderstand. Suppose I have to live this place. I was not born. I was never baby or child. I was created solely for the purpose of the dream maker. I've always looked back. Yeah, before he was a reaper, I guess he didn't hear me to this thing, yes, yeah. Um, I suppose that is kind of sad. It's a little sad, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Uh, you must tell a lot of fun childhood things. Like, you're better sad. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and that. I've never really liked anything to do with school except for the plays. I was in theater in school. But uh despite the erroneous and hurtful to me kinds of things, the uh the uh, what's the trope I guess would be called not nearly all actors are Democrats. Or demon crabs, as I call them. I'm a true American. I'm a Republican through and through. But yeah. Going super high on the strings for the first time. This doesn't sound particularly fun. What do you have fun growing up with you? That's plenty of time. I have introduced you on what you missed out on. Maybe perhaps it'll be somewhere. Anyway, speaking of that, I'm going to watch my video. Still need that cold sail, huh? I'll talk to you later, sis. Thank you for answering my question with how bad a haircut, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. It's my question. The last day of that bit. Good night. So it's my own history. Interesting. Okay. The sixth day. Complete day six at Gmail Lock. No, I remember that. Yeah, I Off to the event. You woke up this morning feeling particularly well rested. No one came for your soul in that, which means today is the final day of that. Almost can't think of excitement. After all, you seem to have this in the bag. Decide not to go out anywhere today. Safe to stay at home right out of it. Silly more when you read the eventual message from your own personal group leader. Buzz on your little plants seem to be doing well. Can't believe how healthy it is. After what Casper told you, this time to understand why. Yeah. You go to tell Tom how much you love him for 15 minutes. It's not enough, he deserves even more. To, you get to tell him some cheats hanging out together, and overall just enjoy it till his coffee this morning. You love to Tom so much, the words cannot even come close to describing how you feel. You in front you feel as much you feel as immense trust from the time as his tongue pushes out towards you. Yeah, how's he doing? The time is lazy and happy. For some reason you feel out of stuff and stay stay next to the town. You sit in your in your bed but you still get the town's rest love. And if you're happy after all, indeed that's true in real life. That's why it becomes us to live life to the fullest every day. Favorite quote, this would be interesting. You flip to the end of the favorite childhood book, first it begins the page the quote is stuck with. There's one thing to say to each other, I hope you enjoy the life. Appreciate the small moment. Love would be your entire character. Not every moment has to be an epic of life filled with great scenes, sauce filled with great sauce. I suppose that's true. The smallest, most average moment can continue extraordinary beauty if you pay attention. It's 
spend so much time hoping for rest. A long way to relax, but true peace comes down the end of the middle. I will take effort to experience these small joys and stop merely hoping for big ones. So dear man, this is my gift for you. Live and long with like it's your rest. Don't forget how damn lucky you are you to get more. That's awesome, yeah. I didn't expect this game to be like so wise. I was I expected it to be uh, more comedy and horror than anything else. That's pretty cool too, though. Okay, so what's this new thing that's in the gallery? <laughs> oh, Christmas! <laughs> Is that mistletoe? Wow. <laughs> I can't help but wonder where these things would have disappeared in each of them if that's a sign of things to come. <laughs> I do not. I know you not have work today. Do you have no plans? Do you ever have plans? Anyway, strong my message. Yeah, right. Well, you know I can have plans. Do you? Nope. Good. Okay. Seems I was correct once again. This is unfortunate because I've been thinking. <laughs> By the way, you don't have that. to make us perfect. <laughs> you can't beat me. So I'm forced I'm thinking. All night. Thoughts. Got no sleep at all. Studying, thinking, pouring over books. Do you books in the book, guys? Yeah, I'm fantastic book club. Yeah, I know, right? Well, for me, that would indeed be the ideal. Like they say, heaven is whatever your ideal is, whatever you see is like the ultimate. And for me, it'd be like a library so I, I can like, pick out anything I wanted and gain all the knowledge I ever wanted. As well as working out, and uh, most importantly, tend to my garden. We're getting on the track. As I said yesterday, your soul is incomplete because you keep giving possible away. Something that is usually not possible for a mortal. That answers some of my questions. Why your soul um, seems to feel so strange? How you managed to take my soul sickness away? But it didn't answer enough. I still have so many more questions. I found the answer. Lay it on me, Casper. Gray, you embody life just as I embody death. Hmm? I wish really says the enemies will rarely trace the souls. Maybe only have a thousand so years of old. Have the touch of life in your soul. You are life, so to speak. That's why I've not been able to take your soul. That's why you fall to death without a thought. That's how you can heal you. You're special. You've always been special. <coughs> I'm immortal then? I don't know. It's possible. It would explain a lot. But that's also some important. What's this do? Hacked agency, huh? Well, 
Let's see. Oh, never mind. It's uh, apparently not my kind of a deal. Oh well. Abilities have merits, and your soul is not that an ordinary mortal. And maybe, maybe it could work. I admit, maybe it could actually be helpful. That I may enjoy your company. <clears throat> maybe doing it together would be quite nice, actually. What are you rambling about? But yeah, what? What? You want to do what together exactly? Patience, I'm getting to it. Me? Patience? You're the one who's in patience, huh? You'll find out that you're quite patient. Which is pretty much happening. <laughs> I thought I could defeat your fate too, but I'm patient. I doubt I'll show you what you're going to do. Exactly. I call myself the eternal noob. I always have more to learn. Kind of for you. So there's plenty I can teach you. Be too patient for us, for obvious reasons. Make me visit your feet in this life. I know, right? You haven't capitalized anything. Yeah, sorry about that, praise ladies and gentlemen. I'm Capitalize anything seriously. You touched into the first day we met. I'm not right. Are you still embarrassed? That one. <laughs> one such as me never gets embarrassed. No. You know what? I take back what I was saying about it. It won't work. You get work around, so I just want to come to take your soul. <laughs> your type is making me laugh. I just said I don't capitalize anything, so I'm just so like it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? The cast button in your keyboard is. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah, I can do it correctly. I'm just a not. <laughs> nope, that's even weird to come from you. <laughs> and I should continue it. It's just stubborn. <laughs> Thank you. But winding back here a little. Let's work, let's work around. Are you quite attached to a place in the mortal world? I... I feel anorexies. What's that? That's how convincing can be. To be frank with you. Ah. Now you're Casper. I think taking your souls a waste. Waste? I don't know what that means. Exactly, what do you mean? When you get choked not taking it? Check this out yet, Memo. Please be happy. It's a disaster, really. Um. What is this? Oh, it's a bad voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not like that. What is that? No way. Um. So 
that's the one that's the one that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep watching it about the moon pole or not. <laughs> so, what's the fault? Do you remember when you got me to go I know, I must be the Zilly Fiat. I would think it would be a bit more than that. Remember if I caught this face with you, I It would be a similar process, but a much different outcome. I'm also doing some crazy cat. I'm doing some crazy cat thing. By the way, exactly. By the way, I'm being too crazy. See, so I was gonna cut myself. Okay. Sunshine. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, it sees. Alright, so I'm so fierce doing catches. Whoops. 
Saul Casper. That is how his whole thing started, remember? Yes, but could have done all of this once this talking. Somehow without me to uh, come across come to create a company. Got me now. I want to always have you on. But perhaps that's just the one sided way to want to be on your side. I'm already making you tell that one, that's awesome. I'm already making you tell that one. Tell them, let me thank Ha, ha, ha. Very fun. Thank you, I'm a comedian. What a good clown. Anyway, we form a connection. But the one difference is we do about touching. Sweetest impression that we do. So I do follow my attention. Make a coffee, then when they're ready, put over my hotel. You're coming right now? Thus you'll have second thoughts. Oh, you can come now. Wait. The time can come to the right. Of course, I know you're packing speed. Soon, That's gonna be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Do what I'm doing, please, because subscribe and I'll listen back. Thank you.